<laughs> well, those in our area, those like little time tracker things, they're pretty they're important. Thing of, thing of the past. <laughs> Instead, teachers are focusing on getting your child to read rather than sticking to a specific amount of time. ABC 6 News Good Morning reporter Cindy Zatz joins us live in studio now to talk more about this. Hey, Cindy. Good morning, Devin, J Jesse. It's really about finding what you like, and this might be a surprise, but I really like books about celebrities and the royal family. Oh, no. No, way. <laughs> no way. I didn't know I if you knew that. We, we couldn't have ever guessed. <laughs> well, the, I, one full book I read was Miley Cyrus's autobiography. So. No. Okay. <laughs> But it really doesn't matter if it's a chapter book or reading the captioning during a movie. Teachers say reading doesn't have to be in a traditional form. The further along that they get, the more of that joy of reading tends to dwindle. And I feel like part of it is lack of choice. Michelle Klenert teaches fifth grade at Hayfield Elementary. For kids in lower grades, they have to read 100 minutes a month. For the older kids, they have a 40 book challenge and get to pick books of their choosing in certain genres. You just need to find what your interest is and what your goal is. And there are different types of reading for different purposes. Speaking of different types of reading. Reading is decoding the written word. It can be a magazine. It could be National Geographic for kids. It could be Ranger Rick. It could be jokes. Is your kid in Spanish immersion? Put on, a, put on a Spanish cartoon and have the subtitles come up. It's reading. Lisa Von Drasik, a children's librarian at the University of Minnesota, says it's important to be mindful of opportunities. And reading doesn't have to just be your child. Also, as grown-ups, help that out. Say, look, I'm not interested in basketball, but I'm going to read this book because you're interested in basketball. And I'd like you to read a short story, a science fiction short story that I loved as a kid. Don't forget, this isn't just about doing homework. Reading has its benefits. The more kids are read to and kids read, the more words are obviously exposed to and the more rich their vocabulary will become. And it might just be, you know, the 10 minutes before bedtime you sit down and read with your kid. Here in Rochester, a spokesperson for Rochester Public Schools agrees, saying developing lifelong readers isn't about a certain number of minutes, Children spend reading, it's about fostering their curiosity. In studio, Sydney Zatz, ABC 6 News, good morning.